tree behind me is actually one of my favorite trees on the property because of its sheer size and and how cool it looks especially during the winter time with the branches just branching out everywhere um, i absolutely love this tree it kind of was disturbing to me when i saw it turning yellow this spring uh, it's not the first time i've seen this tree do this before in fact uh, a few years ago i thought the tree had got into shock because of some herbicides and while i sprayed herbicides this year on parts of our property i did not spray it around this tree so the fact that it was losing its leaves and turning yellow again caught my curiosity. What actually started the investigation was I was looking out the window on an area that we did spray and I noticed that a couple of our hackberry trees, this is a hackberry, um, were turning yellow. In fact, they were so yellow I thought we had flower, yellow flowering trees that I had never seen on our property before. So, um, and then I noticed that one of them looked like it was almost completely dead. and. Uh, my first thought again was, dang it, you shouldn't have used herbicide, you lazy fool. That is not what's going on with these trees. As it turns out, there is a bug that likes to infest these trees, pretty much. That bug is known as the hackberry gall psyllid. A psyllid is not spelled with an S, but a P. So the hackberry gall psyllid, uh, during the winter time, the adults will actually live within the tree bark, underneath the bark and kind of inside the tree. In the spring, they come out and they, they come out to, these, to the leaves of the hackberry and they basically start laying eggs on the leaves. And the egg sacs that it forms will kind of grow out of the leaf, kind of like an irregular growth. People in Texas call them nipples because they look like nipples. The hackberry nipple uh, is then growing on the leaf. We have one here. I'll show you some close-ups. Inside this is basically an egg sac, and what's in that egg sac are a bunch of psyllids, which, to give you an idea of what a psyllid is, it's also known as tree lice. It looks like head lice or gnats, and, um, and they infest things. So um, it's basically kind of like a little uh, sack of tree lice on the leaves and as uh, those tree lice grow and start forming they suck the leaves dry of all their nutrients which is why the leaves start to turn yellow and dry out and wrinkle up and then eventually fall off the tree. Sacks of leaves will live in the plant until uh, through the summer and then you'll have new bugs emerge and when they emerge I mean you're talking thousands upon thousands of these little gnat-like bugs and they will infest your house if you're not careful. Not every time that you look at a hackberry and it's losing some leaves do they have the the gall psyllids. Uh, hackberries also, they, they tend to be a fast growing plant so in the springtime they really leaf out a lot and then as it gets into the summertime and the warmer drier months they can't support all that growth. So hackberries to a certain extent will naturally start to cut back on their, their leaves and, and shed a little bit before the summertime. They'll kind of, before the, uh, the summer months kick in. In the case of these trees, they're definitely uh, infested with the, the gall psyllids and because we can, we can see the, the egg sacs on the tree. You could also see on some of the leaves where the adults have eaten at the leaf and left little holes everywhere. The problem with our trees is that they're pretty much infested. And at this point in the spring, there's really not a whole lot that you can do about it because the egg sacs have been laid, the bugs are going to hatch eventually, and um, you just need to make sure you keep them out of your house. And even if they do get into your house, they die off fairly quickly. I don't like to spray a lot of pesticides around our property. There's too many kids, too many animals. Pesticides generally aren't good for the environment. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on how to naturally control the gall psyllids so that in the spring your beautiful hackberries don't start looking like they're dying weeds. Number one, there are particular bugs that are valuable in eating the hackberry galls. Ladybugs and lacewing bugs will actually, they're, they're predators of the hackberry gall psyllid. In, before the adults come out or in the fall after these little 
egg sacs have hatched and the lice are out all over the place, you could release ladybugs and lace wings out into your, your property around your trees to help eliminate or reduce the, um, the total population of your hackberry gall psyllids. Another thing that you could do is you could coat the trees down with um, some horticulture oil. The horticulture oil will kill the adults uh, before that they, they can actually lay the eggs. In cases where you have a very large infestation, um, it's not practical to use horticulture oil or to release um, a bunch of ladybugs out there and lace wings to eat your your hackberry gall psyllids. So um, one of the things that I would suggest using is kind of an all-natural pesticide. Something that is a short-lived pesticide will work because the adults only really come out for a couple weeks in the early spring to lay their eggs and that's probably the best time to hit them or right before they come out. So if you use a short-lived, very low toxic pesticide, that'll work. I'm gonna go over a couple natural pesticides with you. So if you're trying to be as clean as possible for the environment, um, you can make the right decisions in buying these. I'm also gonna post some links to these at the bottom of this video if, uh, if you need help finding them. Diatomaceous earth is a great non-toxic pesticide. Um, it works fairly quickly. That's a pesticide that you could um, spray on a, you know, the week or, or the two weeks that the adults are out to just try and knock out the, the population. It won't last very long, but it is uh, non-toxic, 100% natural. I highly recommend that one if you're looking for a pesticide solution. Safer incesticidal soap will actually uh, damage the external layers of the bugs, causing them to dehydrate and die off. Um, so it works well as a non-toxic pesticide it is another pesticide that is short-lived, so it has very little impact on the overall environment and other bugs. It's, you may have to apply it on a regular basis until you've taken care of the problem, like every week, until you're not seeing any signs of the gal psyllids anymore. Another great solution is Surround WP, which is a colon clay spray formula. Basically, it's like spraying the, the plant down with a liquid that then turns to a powdery clay over the leaves and that will help protect your leaves from the adult bugs wanting to eat on them or lay their eggs in them and uh, that's a very natural way that uh, a lot of people use to even protect uh, organic crops. And finally you can use 70% neem oil as kind of an, a natural organic pesticide that you can spray on the tree as well. All of these methods are natural and safe for the environment. They also are short-lived, so they're not going to affect all the other bugs that are coming out that time of year or that might be coming out a little later. Um, and if any time you do spray something, you want to try and get make sure that you're controlling it as much as possible. So um, trying to spray uh, a tree, which is very high, I mean this tree in and of itself is uh, got to be about 70 feet high. You you don't want to try and uh, just spray the pesticides or whatever you're using all over the place. I suppose that if you're using the the colon clay or something that doesn't have any type of uh, pesticides in it at all, um, it would be okay. But uh, you want to try and control your spray as much as possible. They do make nowadays uh, drones that are sprayers. With something like a drone, you can hover it very close to the tree and, and spray just the area that you want to spray. At this time of year, in early spring, there's so many bugs coming out. So many bugs are good for the environment and needed for the environment. And even hackberry gall psyllids, uh, they obviously provide a food source for for other important bugs like ladybugs. But uh, if you have to get control of the problem, those are the remedies that I would suggest you use. If you don't have to get control of the problem, the bugs themselves, even though the trees look ugly and they're losing their leaves, they're not going to kill the tree. So don't worry, your tree's not dying yet. It, it might look like it's dying, 
but it's not dying it's just it's been infested basically with a bunch of these little egg sacs from essentially tree lice 